could never keep me down Oh, you were wrong Cause that was then and this is now Take aim, come on That's a really unexpected twist now, ain't it? But I'm still with the boys. I'm with Alan Gonson alongside Jameson O'Monkey here for today's epic Coda race for the ARCA Dr. Pepper series, guys. How are you doing today? I am doing quite fantastic. I am coming fresh off of the NASCAR Avino Motor Troll, where we had a crazy A-Rock Generations race, which you can go watch on the NASCAR Avino Network, by the way. Hashtag not sponsored. I feel like it's pronounced Motor Dome and not Motor Drome, but I've been doing all right myself. It's it's definitely Motor Drome. I don't know what you're on, Jameson. But anyway, he's on weed. Uh, Stay off the weed. Hey, wait a minute. No. <laughs> it, okay. You know, as long as we're on the sa same page now, I think I think we can do this. But all right, we're here. Yeah, it's looking like okay, quite the day here in top. And what, where are we at? Austin, Austin Texas. Texas. I think is where Yep. Yeah, Austin, Texas. Yep, Demo yeah, Redneck good. today, and then 99 Machine is starting on the pole. Yeah, he had and he got good... killed there starting to his outside, to his right, rather. It's and then... a road course. You shouldn't say inside and outside. <laughs> and then in third and fourth, you got Max Morreal and um, Ash Ellington. There. That is third and fourth. So, Coda, we are calling... This race is known as the American Grand Prix. I know, this is the first time the Grand Prix moniker has been actually and officially used in the Arca race. We did have the Grand Prix 206 back at Road America, which Carter Jones won, by the way. Thank you very much. Of course. My, my famed cousin. All right, so here's some headlines. But Star here's Racer some making headlines. ADPS debut. Oh. I thought, I, I, you know what, never mind. Uh, yeah, this dude making his debut. <laughs> Woo, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I thought I had weed taken away from me for a moment. I was really shocked. Anyway, yeah, I got the next yeah, this is y'all two fumbling the food. <laughs> Perfect! We're off to a great start, everyone! Great start. Star Racer will be starting somewhere in the back. Alrighty, and Nate Wines, he did not start at Indy, so he's looking to definitely get some laps in here and maybe try to beat for a win. Yeah, we, we're, I'm still not certain why he didn't start last time, but he, he's looking quite angry in that car, looking ready to go. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, from what I remember, he was he was complaining about officials, but in reality, I think it was like the there was water in the electrical components, and, and I think that's what caused him not to start the race. Yeah, that is certainly unfortunate. But how about this guy? He's got a win on the road course at Road America. That's the 62 of Carter Jones. And let me tell you something. He somehow went from last to first that day, and he's got a big, fat... No, he's not fat, but it's a big Luigi on the hood of his car. He's got those checkered stripes on the sides, oh, yeah. and of course the random blue that might be, is supposed to maybe be the overall colors. I that mean, kind I, of I match guess. The, All right, here's Caleb Marinelli. He's barely inside the ADPS title talk. I want to take this moment to remind you guys that in ADPS, if you are within 108 points of the points leader, you are in title talk. Everyone else is like either brink of title contention, life support, or they're just eliminated. Yeah. I need some life support. 
He's yeah, and fallen apparently... and he can't get up. Send him some life alert. <laughs> well, how about this guy though, KR Jameson? I bet you got some juicy things to say about KR. Well, KR in this series in particular, he hasn't had the most stellar performances in this first season, but he's definitely looking to right the wrongs so far in the season and possibly turn up the heat later on for this season and get some wins, you know what I'm saying? Fun stat about KR, his first start was Road America, where he started on the pole, led 16 laps, and that probably did not finish. Mmm. That, mm. Tried All drinking right. water. Well, That's crazy. Well, I'm getting word we're getting the command <laughs> really soon, so let's go trackside and get this command to fire oh, up the engines. Fr what? Were you going to say something? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Okay. One final storyline I do want to talk about. Um, Alan Mooch. He's uh, he did he went for a flipping indie. Yes, he sure did. He got caught up in one of the bigger wrecks there. Yeah, so it was like we'll flip one, seeing... flip two, and then his night was over. Yes, his night was definitely over. So we'll see how he rebounds Drivers, for this week. Drivers, your Jameson and talked over the command. Tradition I, lives. I don't. Sure. All right, 35 cars, we're to life wow. on And now it's time to go take a look at this starting you, you lineup know brought to you by Contenders and Pretenders, where Tanner Campo separates the contenders from the pretenders. Jameson, uh, you just offended the NASCAR community. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Great start, everybody. Great start. I don't know if we cut away by now, but you should cut away before I said that. <laughs> Cars, 35 cars in this field. Yeah, good old Coda, good old Austin, Texas. Hot, sunny day. Winds breezing, hot babes in the boot. Uh, not the boot. <laughs> <laughs> the stands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not we're not hot babes up here. We're kind of ugly. That's besides the point. We're here, we're here to commentate. We're not in the spotlight for a reason. Well, here we are. Demo Redneck oh, and Caleb Marinelli on the front row. What are you giggling about? I, your hot babes coming. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> One thing I do want to note here. I don't uh, know I do, I, This isn't super important, guys. but I do see a, a Ford is starting pull surrounded by three Chevys. So it'll be interesting to see how that one's going. Yeah, well, you, I you, smell blood you know what water. else is important? What? You know what else is important, Jameson? The command, and you talked right over it. <laughs> well, you see, I don't have an excuse for that. I, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Good job, I Jameson. Hear it. It's on the loudest intercom here at the largest Austin, Texas. Ever. Ladies and gentlemen, my ADP AirPods. Is I cannot hear Jameson it. Jameson, no monkey. I'm wearing my AirPods. I cannot hear it. You're wearing AirPods, Jameson. Dude, you're getting you a should get Raycons. After this race. I Hashtag you know we're not that. sponsored by Raycon, by the way. I didn't say Raycon. I said AirPod. I said Raycon, not you, me. I said AirPod. Okay, we're not sponsored by that either. I get anyway, it. We're about to go anyway, here, so here's probably... today's. <laughs> Yeah, here's today's fact of the race, by the way. Quinn Jagger won the last race. All right. Now as we come off the final corner here to take the green flag, we got the 99 of Redneck and the 77 of Marinelli as we head up to the zone where they accelerate. Yeehaw! And we take the green flag here. And Circuit of the Americas, we're green. 
Off and rolling up the hill, headed for turn number one. Demo Redneck will take the lead. Takes a wide arc in turn number one and two. Three wide for the lead. That's Dustin Dietz on the inside. Really He's going for it. Arc. Oh, there's trouble in the back. Oh, oh double contact. Oh. Not wrecking yet. No caution. Here they come. Oh, oh there the wrecking. Oh, there they go. There Dustin Dietz takes the lead. More smoke in the back. Oh. Oh, they sideswiped his ass. Oh, they spun in the no. back. I mean, we don't have any angle of that there unless we get shown a replay later on. Yeah, we're gonna get duking it out here for the lead. Yeah, I have I have good news. We do have a camera team out there that picked up what happened, so we will get replays. One thing right, I do want to mention: this number thirty car, they haven't been here very long, but they have been impressive while they've been here. Yeah, the 30 car used to be driven by Noah Wetzel, and then Noah Wetzel was cut for being lazy. Max Morreal stepped in. Oh, and by the way, he's the brother of Alex Morreal, so just let that sink in. Yeah, Max yeah, Alex Morreal. Morreal. Pretty, pretty legendary legend, if I say so myself. But he couldn't quite capture the lead as Dustin Dietz took it early on here, and he's looking to lead the first lap. Yeah, who's looking to lead our first, the first lap here at Coda, and he's going to do so like with flying put in colors. I hope nobody hits that camera later on in this race. Oh, don't worry. They don't hit the camera. We're safe. We'll be fine. We put the camera in a good spot. It's not going to get hurt. Uh-huh. Have you tested this? Have you, like, put it through crash tests? Yes. I feel like this is a checkoff gun. <laughs> All right. Dustin Dietz is rolling How do you have turns. a budget for crash tests? I mean, we're also... We, also we don't even have the, the budget to use modern it. cars. What do you mean crash tests? <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, they're rolling through. They're headed for turn 20 right now. Cool. Dustin Deeds is going to be leading the way in that Monster Energy Ultra Ford Fusion owned by Wines Racing. He will be back with that six car next season. Headed for turn 19. Here they come for turn 20. Fun fact about Dustin Deeds. Cater Johns used to call it call him Dustin Diets back in the good old days. We don't talk about that. Dustin Diets. But anyway, that's a good one. Dustin right, Deeds with lap one. And he's going to sniff that clean whiff of air as the caution is officially out from the incident early on. Yeah, that was all the way back in the in this section right here. Yeah, um, definitely going to be a big old pile up on these restarts. We'll wonder if these drivers learn, which we know they don't have a tendency to do so. Okay, so my buddy, um, my buddy Zachary Shepard has a thing that these drivers can take. It's called Road Course 101. Top 10 right now, Justin Dees, Max Morial. Oh, no, never mind. Here's what happened. Kayla Marinelli goes wide. Oh, they went four wide. Contact between the 90s, the 97 and 77. Then there's more contact with the 24. Oh, she absolutely dumped oh. him. And she goes for a spin. Oh. Carter Jones into Kayla Marinelli. Oh, that's not good for the, either of those cars. Luckily, See, they didn't hit very no, hard. So that's I not good at all. All right, well, unfortunately, TV2 and Spectator weren't working for us, so here's the, here's the drone falling around Ian Styles. I'm not exactly sure what was wrong with Caleb on the start. He started on the front row, went wide, and just wasn't able to ever get the power down. Just getting trampled over by every car in the field. It seemed like before he was eventually turned around. Yeah, he got turned by the 97. Here's the onboard Caleb Marinelli, by the way. Right. There's the bump. There's yeah, the spin. He's hooked all the way through that corner. Contact, slight like contact with the 23 of Faith McKenzie. Yeah, I mean, they got hooked well into that corner and all the way around that corner. I'm not sure if anything malicious happened between the two, but that's right. interesting to think about. All right, yeah, look at here. Here's the sky cam. Oh, wow, there was no room to go four wide there. You, you, called over. you had all the room on the, in, on the right side of the track. Or is that the left? I don't know. Left. Left, okay. Yeah, you got all that room on the left side of the track. At least spread <laughs> out. Good lord, you can make four wide racing work. I've seen it before. I'm going to say it. It's a wide track like Coda, but like, all still, right. it's like, it, it's donkey balls out here right now. So, caution one is out. Kayla Marinelli gets dunked by Ash Ellington, then Ash Ellington gets dunked by Alan Mooch, and then it just kind of stacks up from there. We're going to step aside for a commercial break, come right back with some more ADPS action. Thank you for watching the American Racing Grand Prix from the Circuit of the Americas. Pepper. Man. I sure am tired. If only I had a... Oh, hey, how convenient. A nice 
crisp, open Coca-Cola energy drink. Wow, what a refreshing beverage with a nice burst of cherry flavor on top of the usual Coca-Cola flavor that everyone loves. Wow, that is such a tasty beverage. Man, but I don't sense any of the energy. We've been working really hard to get ready for the SRX race season, but we've also been working on SRX, the game. Bestwick, this is SRX the game. What am I doing with my life? How is moving toy cars going to lead me to a successful future? Is this my purpose on the earth? Is this my purpose, world? Talk to me, world! Is this my purpose? Hey, y'all, it's Cater Johns. And occasionally, when I need to feel at peace with this world, I do just one thing. And that is. Crack open an ice cold peace tea. Man, I'm feeling at peace with the world already. Woo! So, what are y'all waiting for? Drink peace tea to pull. Four, three, two, oh, monkey, go! Welcome back to the Arca Dr. Pepper series. I'm here. I'm Jameson a Monkey here in the booth with Alan Gonson and Cater John. Oh, no. Yeah, while we were away, Gavin Grant, Patrick Roden, Quinn Yeager, and Evan Toddy all got stacked up together. And there goes Quinn Yeager. How are you? Th oh. Oh, my God. Well, Looks like he died or something. Well, yeah. I know we were talking about not being sponsored earlier, but I do have to say I have something that might entice y'all. What's that? Well, here's a look at what happened to Quinn Yeager. There's three wide I've got an ice jokes. cold Dr. Pepper here in the booth. Hey. I've got some for both of y'all, too. So, and you should oh, drink no. up. Oh, oh, no. That's oh, going to be oh, a no. hard hit. Oh, that's oh, a hard oh. hit. I think that might end his race. He hit the wall hard enough for it to possibly end his race. That's what he gets for having Coca Cola. You know, the, the sound of that car hitting the wall really reminds me of a peace tea. Yeah, watch again. Watch again. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's got drinks except me. <laughs> Here's a look at it again. Did get one. Same angle, by the way. For some reason, I guess our camera team is just lazy. Looks like that 26 got into him. I'm not sure oh. what happened. I think Toby Smith did. I, I do think the 26 was involved somehow. Either way, I think Quinn Yeager's not going to be continuing this race on. Also, why do you hit those cones? What did the cones do to him? Leave the cones yeah, alone, uh, Quinn Yeager! <laughs> the cones did nothing to you, you big Get the crying <laughs> towel. Get the crying <laughs> towel. Ah, blog it. Blog it. Anyway, so we're coming back green, green here, back going green. around the corner. So we're about to go back to green flag racing here. On yeah. number three of 31, Dustin Deeds leads the way over Max Morel, Demo Redneck, Nate Wines, Colin Dover, J.D. Bragler, K.R., Dylan Cleesby, Ian Stiles, and Alan Mooch rounding out the top ten. And oh my god, they're about to Isn't take the green flag. Clesby? No, it's Cleesby. Oh god, green, we're racing green, again! Green, green. We're rolling, boys! Up the hill, headed for turn one. The 30. I wonder if he's going to try to go for the He goes wide, way JK. wide. And it's going to let Dustin Deeds get away. Oh, they're scrambling around in the back. Everyone goes way wide. 
scrambling pretty hard. They are going a bit wide. I wonder if it's something to do with the cars themselves or if it's just drivers kind of doing a herd routine. Again, road course 101. Drivers, take them. I love that camera. That this camera. is a really nice camera. Yeah, that, that, I wish it was kind of angled a bit more towards the road, though, but I, I'm not complaining too much. I mean, I mean, we were, we were, we were, the Dakota wouldn't let us do that. They, they said that they were on a strict uh, Formula One budget. Screw you, Formula One. Ah, oh, I see, I see. It's a camera. <laughs> but hey, I cigar, guess turning a, cigar, a camera uh, one, like a couple degrees to the left would cost them millions of dollars. <laughs> okay, anyway, here they come off turn, what turn is that? Six, seven, eight? I don't know. I just know it's a 20 turn road. Dude, I don't know. I think Coda has imaginary turn numbers and they just make them up as we go. Sure, I feel let's go I with agree that. with that statement. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, well, here they come down this uh, long straightaway. See them zoom in here. Alright, Dustin Dees continues to lead over yeah, Max Morel, who hangs to on keep to third. The gap over, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, why yeah, trying to take third away from yep. Demo Redneck here? Is he's trying to grow his points lead over Alan Mooch. Well, right now they are a bit far apart in this race itself, but I wonder if Gap's going to tighten oh, when he puts to the Demo end. Demo Redneck is, got, is to the left of Nate Wines as Ooh, they work their way through turn side. 16. Yeah, speaking of tightening gaps, starting to smell some McNuggies in the rear view. Oh, yep, Dustin Deeds oh, might yeah. want to start looking in the rear view and putting the pedal to the metal because here comes the McDonald's <laughs> car of, of Max Morel. Ladies and gentlemen, if Max Morel wins, it will be our fourth upset in the last five races. Fourth upset? How do you gauge it? How do you stat line an update? Okay, let's see here, because we had... No, wait. It was race alert. No, it would be... We had Carter Jones in Road America. We had Ian Stiles in Nashville. Okay, so it will be our third upset in the last four races. But still, how do you stat an update? Uh, well, let's see here. There was Riley Davis at NASCAR oh. Mino Motor Drum. Whoa, he went wide. I'm not asking who they are. I'm asking how do you gauge that? Like, what what is considered an upset? Oh, there, there's yeah, a lot of factors. Yeah, what an upset? Max Morel started this race in third. I mean, that would... I mean, he's kind of low. He's kind of down there in points. Like, if you look at where he's in points, like, he's not that good right now. He also joined in quite late into the series. So. Valid point. You, you did join late in the season. Oh, here's Nate Wines trying to go by uh, Demo Redneck. Nate Wines has not Who won a race since Phoenix. Okay, Ooh. Alan. But, Alan, I, need, I have a question for you, okay? I might have an answer. Who would win in a fight? Who would win in a fight? Big G or Trevor Dorr? Big G, without a doubt. Look who we got here. It's Faith McKenzie Faith fighting Mc here for a top five spot. She's yeah, Faith... been pretty quiet Didn't throughout the season. Did she die? No. She's right there in front of you. Oh, I'm thinking of some other girl. Uh, you're probably thinking of, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, I can't think of it. But yeah, Big G has that big case of money. You remember the big <laughs> case of money? Big G will could just knock Trevor yeah, Brown with that. That's the hottest thing ever. Ooh, there's the oh, bunch. Ooh, butt. that must have Here been Here comes Demo oh, Redneck oh, on Max Morial. Oh, He's sniffing that oh. McNug. He's going to peek to the uh, left got head right to the right quarter panel. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh, uh, no. Close, but no cigar. That's going to open up the door for Nate Wines, though. Demo's got quite a bit of damage on that hood now. Oh, well, yeah. I think he made contact with the back bumper of the 30. I think you made some pretty good contact. You could see it earlier. Yeah, hard. It wasn't hard enough to damage Max Boreal's bumper, though. Oddly enough. Those rear bumpers are a lot stronger than those front bumpers, and we all know it. What if it was a pace lap casualty that damaged the hood? Possibly. It could be. All right. Well, five. Well, we're about to complete lap five. Here they come, out of headed for turn twenty. Were those skid marks there before? I believe so, yes. Off turn number yes, 20. So up the hill they go. Max, we're continuing to fall around Max Morial as Demo Redneck continues to chase him down and Dustin Dees continues to lead. So a great day for Wines Racing so far as three of their cars are in the top 10. Actually, yeah, top let me five tell you even. Something about Dustin. He, he loves Pikachu, I think. And it's probably got him leading this race right now. <laughs> I'd believe that if it was Ethan O'Connor, but Dustin Dees, that surprised me. Really? 
That was some yeah, actual remember when he had that profile oh picture of the Pikachu Oh my god, look the who's Dr. in 10! Not the Dr. Pepper. Guys, no, look who's in 10! Is that Alex Lee in 10th? Yes! Yes, that is Alex Lee's number! In 10th! Oh, dude, good. That, he's gonna be the winner today. <laughs> I'm, doing a, I'm doing a more important story, I guess I should say. Max Muriel, he is the sibling of Alex Muriel, who is a good IndyCar driver, if I do remember correctly. So I... he's probably taking some of that experience and training into this road course. Oh, uh, that's no, that wouldn't surprise me. Well, here they come off a turn, whatever, because road courses are are a headache to. Don't bother that trying to comprehend road courses. <laughs> the only road course that I know by heart is Watkins Glen. Okay? Yeah, that's that's never... an easy eleven turns. Yeah, I think all. Speaking of, us of that, are... Watkins Glen was also the site of where the ADPS had their first repeat winner with Leland Fife. You're welcome. Speaking of Leland Fife, he's been a bit on a that's, down that's your, more from... that's your Amazon oh, AWS. Contact, oh, contact! Damage to the back by the 21! And the 78's oh. nose is damaged as well! Heavy damage on both of those cars. The 21's got a bad rear bumper. Can't say it's the first time I've seen that, though. And look at Faith McKenzie! Her you car see is that? still clean! That could, Her car is still so That could definitely clean. promote terrible aerodynamics, especially on the massive straightaways that Coda has. And this is why the ADPS is looking at switching to the next gen four cars. In fact, it's more than a thought; they are confirming it. Yeah, this will be fun to drive on. I feel like I won't be strapping into one of those bad boys myself, but I do know somebody that will be. That I think will be in the commentating booth next season, if I do recall correctly. All right. Well, here they come for turn number twenty again. All right. Real talk. Um, Cater Johns, I got a question for you. What's that? Who do you think would win in a fight? Gabriel Landeskog or or that one guy called um, called um, um, uh, Dustin Deeds? Remember, this is hockey to racing. Pick your pick your poison carefully. Gabriel Landeskog. I mean, anyone named Gabriel is freaking Chad. <laughs> yeah, mega Chad. I agree. Go with the biased avalanche. Fan can live. Ah! <laughs> All right, it so seems that Faith McKenzie's taken the spot away from the 21 and the 78. I'm oh, not yeah. sure the 78 went. I think they made a yeah, pick. Yeah, she's, um, yeah, uh, Faith McKenzie's on the move. All right, well, they're, yeah. going, through the, they're, they're going through that series <laughs> of chicanes right there. And Demo Redneck is smelling some chicken nuggets, boys. I mean, you know, it's kind he's of there, but he's not at the same time, you know? Like, nothing's yeah, just happening. He, he, They're kind of in, in their own worlds right now. They can't quite make moves. Oh, this is really, yeah, it feels oh, this like is there's a cool. giant bubble around those top three. They can't really seem to get very close to each other. Yeah, well, Faith McKenzie's going to try and chase them all down. She's got a bit of ground to make up, though. It'll be interesting to see if she can make that up. All right, well, here they go for this tight little hairpin here. And Dustin Dietz has a little bit of a gap here. 1.13 seconds between himself and Max Morel. But you do have to remember, those la those gaps only update at the beginning of each lap, so this could fluctuate a lot between these laps. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, uh oh, could, uh oh. Fluctuate Speaking a of lot. fluctuation, Houston, he's going to close that gap. We got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> The 23 What's is that? closing down on the 99. Bias. I am not biased. He is I don't... in fact, though. It's right there. I I am not biased. He's... I am I am Alan Donson. He's, he's, Do you want to know who is biased right now? I don't, that would be Alan Mooch, who is the owner of Cyberstar or, I mean, Racing. I am not Alan Mooch. I'm not even related around. to the guy. No, I'm glad Alan was just rambling over me because I said something I didn't mean to say. But anyway... Dustin Deeds continues to lead, and that 23 of Faith McKenzie is looking like. Oh, a she's all over the back room with the 99. You might as well give her the spot now. Party. You might as well just give her the spot now, Demo. Just stop trying to hold her up and just give her the spot. It's early in the race. You can afford it. I think oh, right Lee. now. If I were Demo, I'd hold, him up. I'd hold her up. Yeah, I agree on that one. She doesn't seem like the type of driver. As of right now, they can really contend for one of those top spots. So, so I think he may be better off holding out of that position. So we that was quite for a But he's now ninth. 
as she's as, as, as she as he is going after Baron Pool. Keep trying, he'll get us some there, buddy. Yeah, Baron Pool was our I believe our first ups no, our first upset winner was Riley Davis at uh NASCAR Mutant Motordrome, and then Baron Pool had the upset win at Dover. In fact, true story about the um about Baron Pool's Dover win. Every team was streaming up and down to the officials so much that they had like three teams of officials hawking over the 13 car. And when they passed, when the 13 car passed inspections, they took it back to R&D and they did a triple check there too. Ah, block it. Not R&D. To add on to Jake's point here, like there's 23 car. There's 23 cars caught these guys at such a fast rate. Like, he, he, she gained two seconds in the prior lap. But since she's been caught up to the 99, he, she cannot pass. It's like there's this bubble of air. Yeah, it's a three-car battle for second right now. And Morreal is holding them up because... Is holding the spot down because nobody can make a pass. I'm not sure if it's from lack of trying, but it does seem like these top five have not shaken up very much. And I think she's actually lost ground. Yeah, she's lost ground. Yeah, she's losing ground right now. All right, well, here they go, headed for turn 20. Or turn 18. I think that's 18 right there. Because 20 should be up ahead. Really. No, I think it, that's 19 because 20 is right. No, that was turn 20. No, this is turn 20 right here. I don't know anymore. You're oh, you so smart. Alan, I think we should just stop referring to them by their numbers and just describe them. Well, I do know that's the turn 20 is before the start finish line, obviously. This long front straightaway like, here. Right here, we have the big old wide turn that none of these drivers can take correctly. Yeah, speaking of that, Dustin Dees just went wide again. I think the wide is kind Ooh, of the first line because it you up for that safety. Alright, Dylan Cleese will be around the top 10. And Cater, you were going to say something? Uh -oh. Go ahead. Oh no. Oh no what? Oh no. Oh no what? There, never mind, I got situated. I thought my PC was about to slip off the table. Oh no, he was about anyway. to lose his monitor. That's not good. Oh, that that would not okay, be epic, yeah, Mike. fine, though. Okay, thank goodness. And you know who else is fine? Dustin, I almost said Austin Deeds. <laughs> Austin, Austin Deeds. Deeds. He Austin Deeds. He's keeping a nice. He's he's keeping a nice lead. In fact, he's actually been growing it. So despite the bubble theory, it, it's not like the second place is catching him at all. Those McDonald's nuggies are going a bit uh, cold uh, right now. Uh, Austin Deeds, I am not gonna let you live that one down. I think Dustin Deeds is beginning to check out here. I'm not sure how wise of an idea that is this early in the race, but we'll wait and see. All right, Dustin Deeds, a uh, potential race winner here. He's, he has not won since New Hampshire, all the way back in race number six. Or was that race nine? Uh, you tell me. Hang on, hang on. Got him. Gosh, the guy who the guy who created this this series does not even know. You got it, man. You got it. <laughs> yeah, he got it for sure. Oh, you'll yes. figure it out. <laughs> Speaking of Dustin Deeds, he's still rolling there. Trouble in the back half of the pack. Dylan Jones slides, but he saves it and keeps on going. Uh, Dylan Jones isn't even. And our camera crew didn't catch it. Oh, here's the yeah, yeah, yeah. She finally she got around the, the, the spot. She's finally around the 99 car, so she's in third, going after the 30 car. Well, can I get a clarification on something? Because according to my note sheet, it says he started 20 seconds in the race. Oh, no, he did start. Oh, I am stupid. I'm stupid. He did start the race. I am made a stupid. Don't, don't ignore what I said. Anyway. Man. Doing all this work is very thirst provoking. If only I had a beverage. Man. If only I had a beverage. Oh, yeah, epic. Here you go. Here's a nice, refreshing Pepsi. Awesome. Have a good day. Refreshing. Pepsi, get it! Man, am I thirsty. 
I could go for a nice, refreshing soda right now, and oh, hey, how convenient. There's a Dr. Pepper right here with my name on it. I don't know how I got here, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. I'm gonna drink it. Ooh. Mm, 23 unique flavors in here. Wow, I am refreshed as ever, and I'm ready to get back to, oh, hold on. Hello? You're who? Bob Jakowski. I don't know anyone named Bob Jakowski. You have a message for me. Okay, what's your message? Wait, what? Oh no, no, don't say the line! Don't say the line! No! What a hard day of school, man. If only there was just something, like some kind of sweet treat for me to snack on. Oh boy, let's see. Some berries, nah. A bunch of weird greens. Water, too basic. Oh boy, would you look at that? An untouched peanut butter shake from Dairy Queen. It's just sitting in its lonesome self. I think I'm gonna drink it. That's the spoon. Welcome back to the Arca Dr. Pepper series. Alan Johnson, mm -hmm. Cater Johns, and Jameson O'Monkey in the booth with you for the American Racing Grand Prix at Coda Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. And while we were away, and you did not miss this, Faith McKenzie passed Max Morel for a second. Yeah, and that's an incredible feat right there to pass those cold chicken and nuggies, finally, and then set sights on the six with Dustin Dietz. Now this car looks like it has a lot of speed, so I think it has a chance with all the laps remaining to catch the six. Then he also got to factor in the eventual pit stops as well. Yeah, so I was actually yeah, talking. Speaking of, yeah, you go speaking first. of those pit stops, when is those pit cycles supposed to start, Alan Gonson? Uh, well, being that there's like 11, oh, or 11 laps into a 31 lap event, I would assume that they're probably going to wait till like lap 15 or so, make it a one stop race, not so much a two stopper. Can they go that far? I believe they can actually. So, well, wow. Wow. their tires have got to be hitting that. <laughs> That's what these sustaining portions right here. Alright, well, meanwhile, while well, well, we while well, we discuss that, we've been following around Faith McKenzie for a while, and um, uh, while we talk, while we're on it, Alan Mooge, he has expressed interest in keeping Faith McKenzie in that 23 car. Uh, just nothing's really gotten done yet. And you want to, yeah. if you want to know why he, he wants to keep her around in that 23 car, it's stuff like this. They're dating. No, they're not. Oh. At least not publicly. Okay. Anyway, keeping <laughs> on the subject of silly season for right now, it does seem like the Omaki Kick-Ass Racing, that race team has gotten a lot going on in that camp. They've already announced a couple of driver swaps, as long as they're opening a fifth part-time car for next season, so that'll be interesting to keep an eye on. Yeah, lots of things going on over there at Ocar. You got Jones signing on, Stern signing on. I believe Paul Dolan's also signing uh, on. Jones a lot had, of good things happening. Uh, Dylan over there. Jones is going to Marinelli Enterprises. I'm no, we meant Carter. Carter oh, Dylan. Carter. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about Dylan. There's two Jones <laughs> in the field. It's it's like keeping up with the Joneses. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Speaking of Jones, in the back of the pack, around goes Dylan Jones again. Which will keep it going. Uh, I think he, I think I saw the 43 in the background driving along just fine. Yeah, I think I saw that too. Uh, maybe, sure maybe, also, maybe it was a bit of a 17 second delay. We're fine. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. well. All right, I'll pass it along. All right, well, I do have an update. I do have an update from the garage. And our first oh, update no. is Quinn Yeager will be issued a did not start. The damage was just too uh -oh. much for him to keep going. And Carter Jones will also be will also be issued a DNF. He had significant damage from the accident and was forced to retire. They will be finishing 35th Man. and 34th respectfully. Pardon my intrusion, but do you have any news on that 78 car? Uh, Colin, what Colin Dover? Uh, no, there's no word on Colin Dover. I think he's still on the track. <laughs> Speaking of eight, look at moving to the top ten. Chris Black's having a good day today. Yeah, Chris Black is a road course racer. Uh, and he's oh, doing look. pretty. Yeah, Baron pulls an eighth. Good run for him. But then again, this, really this, is, this is typical Baron Pool recently. He'll have all, he'll have these great runs. He'll he'll show he'll flash the talent. He'll he'll flash how good he is, and then he'll do something stupid. 
Well, We're yeah, Baron Pulse is going to be one of those starters, though. Black and all these guys. But are we going to not talk about how this 23 has cut it down to less than half a second? Oh, my God. She's right there. And Alan Mooch is probably in the back, field, in the back of the field screaming bloody murder at his driver to take the lead. I can just hear it on his radio right now. I can just hear it on his radio right now. Don't, 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 don't question it. It'll be interesting to see if that and 23 that, can pass that six. They've both been racing each other. We've both been racing these cars pretty hard today. Ian Styles, 86 car, his team, Throwback Motorsports, joined the series back in Charlotte Motor Speedway for the American Salute 300. Ian Styles started on the pole. Oh, and, oh big time contact. stack up. Meanwhile, out in front. Hi, she's here, Dustin. You got some company. Bro, who's that 21 Nate Wines? Yeah, it is the ass of his car has got to be bruised up after a couple of big hits. Woof. He got his cheese clapped a couple times. Here. Yeah, woof, big, big woof, big time woof. All right, meanwhile, oh, uh, uh huh, oh, what? What do you mean they didn't pick it up? Are you serious? Ah, uh, of course they wouldn't. What? I got word that Justin Newman spun around in like turn 10 or something like that. And leave it to our camera crew to be too focused on the battle for the lead to, to talk to, to even show us the Justin Newman spin. Hmm. I think Newman will be just fine though. It's not like they missed a terrible wreck or anything. I mean, Dylan Jones has spun out twice, at least once. You guys don't believe me on the second one, but trust me. He oh, did oh spin she's out, looking. But he she's kept looking. The pack going. She's looking. Oh, but she can't complete. Does she the pass. move or does she stay in line? Let's see. No! She couldn't complete the How pass. How wide does the six He's go compared inside. to the 23? And Dustin Deese is just making his car wide, like way wider well, than it actually is. Well, those tires have got to be falling off pretty quick. Wider really than Ryan Newman after Oscar Meyer. Oh, they're going side, hey, oh, going side by side here. Going side by side here. He's looking at it. Oh, oh, this is great racing right now. Great racing. <laughs> oh, I love this race. Can, can, can we have more it. of this, please? Can, can we have more of this, please? <laughs> All right, so... Uh, We'll talk though. Uh, I think we're going back to the um, to the motor drone. I think we're going back to the motor drone. Wow. Okay, so That's yeah. Cute. Okay, so true story. We were going to go to Long Beach, but when our camera crew went out there to set everything up, they realized there was a big problem, like buildings that would inter that would that would made calling the action really hard. The, I had an idea for oh, that. Yeah. Nobody can quite see my like my idea, so we're just gonna ignore that. Speak and look at the top ten. Some spots changing up down there. Yeah, um, lots of changes in the top ten. We have Ryan Smith up to seventh. We have Baron Poole still in eighth. Dylan, Dylan Cleesby is in ninth. And look who's in tenth. It's James Omaki. James Omaki had a pretty decent run you know, in Indianapolis, but it didn't start that way. Jameson, oh monkey, it's okay. No one likes my ideas either. That's true. All anyway, right. Anyway, James O'Mahony, he has he's been running fairly well in the season, but he's announced his first retirement at the end. Oh, he's yeah. He tabs on he, where exactly he goes. There has been rumors of him entering the commentating booth, but nothing's set in stone yet. Oh, yeah. So here they come rolling for the back for section three of the track. Headed for a, a series of chicanes here. Nose the tail for the lead. All right, so, so, um, Cater, I believe that you actually had a chance to drive the next gen four car at some point during the season, right? For testing. So, something like that, yeah. All right, how, what, any any thoughts about the about Honda joining? The, the Arca Dr. Pepper series next season. You know, I'm a big fan. You know, my cousin out there racing right now, Carter Jones, He he's a proud owner of a 2008 Honda Civic. Epic I don't think Mikey. they're going to be driving Honda's adult car, though, but that's besides the point. <laughs> but hey, proud supporter of Honda myself being related to someone that proudly owns a Honda Civic. Uh, yeah, someone else owns a Honda Civic that gets them to and from their destination safely. Epic, Mikey. Also, we're not sponsored by Honda, by the way. Just so you know, we're not sponsored by any company that you see in this in this in this broadcast. <laughs> we're sponsored by Dr Pepper. <laughs> no, we're not sponsored by Dr Pepper. They made me the series title, but Eat we're not fresh. <laughs> That's Subway. <Eat> fresh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Where does this broadcast become? 
So anyway, Dustin Dees is trying to make his car wide. Ooh. You know, like all the field all goal over kicks in the NFL this year. Oh yeah, she is like right there, but she can't make the pass because oh, something air. grabbed on that car going through that turn. Mm. Yeah, meanwhile in the back, oh, there's something going on back there. It's Ian Styles and Demo Redneck battling for a position right now. Oh, yes, but Ian are. can't make the pass. Was it just me, or did it seem like Ryan Smith had some damage on the front of his car? Uh, I don't think I don't know. I have to get. I have to look at the 05. Back of the car looks fine. Oh, here's a battle for It must be seeing things. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Contact to oh, the back oh, of the 86! That 21 is He's definitely not his happening ass beating, somebody. beating other people's asses. Careful, oh, Nate! That could come back and bite you! Yeah, but it does seem like this top 7 or 8 here has formed a pretty big bubble on the rest of the field. So yeah, they got they got like 8.4. Yeah, like the gap between first and eighth is like 8.44 one hundredths of a second. And that gap between eight and nine is a little under seven seconds. So that'd be. Yeah, that's like yeah, a massive breakaway. By the way, biggest mover of the race, obviously, this 23 car Faith McKenzie up 25 spots since the start of this race, and now pounding on the six car, has been for a while. Yeah, she's been trying, but she can't quite make the pass happen. It's, and it's not for a lack of her trying. It's just Dustin Deeds is throwing all the blocks where he can and making his car wide. You know, like NFL kickers when they try for field goals this cars. year. And that right there is how you make a football joke. Too bad nobody heard it. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, like the Los Angeles Chargers. Too bad nobody heard oh. that, too. Looks like so she's trying if, to go about If this 23 game. car wins, if this 23 car wins the race, does that make her the second female winner this season? Yes, yes it does because Ash Ellington won at Las Vegas back in race number three. By the way, a fun fact about Las Vegas: like the the two drivers that led laps all day long were Trevor Door and Ash Ellington. Guess how many laps each of them led? Go ahead, you'll never get it. They. Uh, 59 uh, and 420. Th they're the only lap leaders? They were the only two lap leaders at Las Vegas. All right. Ellington led one, and the uh, the other dude led all of them. No, oh, no, actually. They both led 27 laps apiece out of the 54-lap event. Well, that's crazy. It was, it, it's a crazy stat that I, that I cannot fathom my, I, at all. <laughs> That's what I call splitting the halves. But, yeah, Tr Trevor Dorlet, the yeah, Trevor Dorlet the first half got held up by lap traffic. Ash Ellington goes right by him and at least the second half of the race never looks back. So here's Baron pulled over winner. Now we're looking at Nate Wines, the Phoenix winner. Yeah, well, oh yeah, uh, by the way, something about Ian Styles here. He's trying to keep a streak of top tens going here. He's got like three top tens in the last, no, he's got four top tens in the last four races with one win, three top fives. Yeah, it's an incredible run he's on, starting from Road America all the way to now, and the last base race being Indy Race Park. Uh, he got the win before that week, and they yeah, got another top ten there. Yeah, he led now the, he's looking to extend that. Yeah, he led the final seven laps, and he had a great battle with Demo Redneck. The Nashville, the Nashville crowd really got into it because I could hear them screaming like over my over the commentary team. It, it's a shame we really need to get pick up. We need to really put mics in the state in the grandstands. I agree. They were they were not only shouting and screaming, but they were playing banjos by the end of it. Oh, they oh that crowd got into it. They did the wave. They 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 were going hey oh it was it was fun to hear them. And while we were talking about that, it's fun to hear Jameson too. But we haven't heard from him in about a minute. I think he's I think yeah he got, yeah. I'm, I think I'm, he got too busy with. I guess, I think he was too busy finishing that Dr Pepper he had. No, no, I've just or, been admiring this race. Oh. This has been some really good racing for these top two spots. Oh, yeah, so we're going to be halfway home in this race. And, oh, my goodness, uh, Dylan Jones spun again. Josh. Dude. Oh, man, rough day for Dylan. Oh, uh, but don't worry. He, it, it, was a, it was a single car spin. He didn't. He just got loose, spun around, and he was able to drive away. He's fine. 
Nothing, nothing too major. Fires! <laughs> Wait, what? Better what? not have a tire flat by the end of this. That's a lot of spinning for one car to do in a single run. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 well, Dylan Jones is a master of conserving his tires, you know. Oh, now Dylan Jones locks up the brakes. He oh. shoots the corner <laughs> wide. Oh, my God. Oh that my oh, he's still on the track, though. He's still oh, on the track. Five seconds. Oh. I love how we were just quiet for, like, five seconds, and then Tater Johns comes in, and he's like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's, like, his catchphrase right now. That is his catchphrase, everybody. Speaking of, oh, no. Oh, no. Like, it was battle for the no! top two spots. <laughs> what was that? What was that voice crack, dude? Just like, it does seem to me like this battle for the top two spots. Faith is trying desperately to get around this number six car. Yeah, she's doing so. She might be burning down her tires a lot oh, more than that. Yeah. Number six. I would not be surprised if that was the case. All right, well, here they come, rolling out or, of this section, head for sector Or three. she's pressuring Dustin Dietz and trying to get him to pit sooner. Ooh. But then again, I don't really see the advantage in that. Now that it's halfway, I think it'd be an advantage if you come right now. Oh yeah, yes, well, speaking I do of, we believe this side is for the position here. Hit. This is for fifth. And I do believe this is your window. I do believe I'm gonna start seeing cars here pretty soon. Eight wides gets the spot. I do believe some of these drivers are hoping for a caution so that oh, they can yeah. keep the field racked up. Only one caution in this race so far. And that was for Caleb Marinelli, Ash Ellington, Carter Jones, all wrecking. We're back at the start of the race. Mm. Oh, hey, yep. my, oh, hey, Come the Avalanche are about to play. I wonder how Alamooch is going to feel about that. All right, well, meanwhile, here's the lead battle. Faith McKenzie, Dustin Deeds continuing to race around. Okay, this is a nice shot and all, but it's it, it should be closer to where the action is. It should be in that turn, and then it should just swivel around. But that's just my opinion. Get it for the S's. Here you are they seriously trying to go to the end of the race on without making a stop? Well, <laughs> no way. I, I, that's the case. If there's a caution of people fit and they don't, they're going to get eaten up fast. Uh, and James Sino Monkey knows a lot about getting eaten up fast. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I'm done with you all! <laughs> I'm done with you all. Cater, Cater, <laughs> I, 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 I love you, but I'm seriously gonna have to ask you to shut the fuck up. Oh my! God. <laughs> I, okay, so here's my here's my resignation papers. I will be resigning in two weeks from commentating. <laughs> I'm joking. Wait, for real? <laughs> no, I was joking about the retirement. I'll take your pay. <laughs> hey, I said I was joking. Jesus Christ. Uh, Did you just so use the Lord's name in vain? Yeah, that's a sin, don't you know? <laughs> well, so is swearing, apparently! Well, I don't give a damn. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck oh you. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what is this to hold it to? Everybody gets Bro, sick to even understand. How much do you want to bet Jesus Christ spins? Square, rather than yeah, yeah, every, fuck. every, and, and we're all going to sensitivity training after this one, guaranteed. FCC is going to be on our asses, and then they're going to send us to, to uh, sensitivity training, and you won't hear from us for another Alan, two weeks. Alan, 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 I love you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, anyway, off turn number twenty. Another oh, head for turn twenty right now. Oh. Oh, 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 no! Oh, trouble in the back! Dontavious Young locked the tires up and took out Dylan Jones, but he gets back going. Oh my goodness, Dylan Jones is having a bad day. And it didn't bring out a caution, surprisingly. Did it? Okay. No, it did not. And again, we're off the racing surface where he spun and then got it back on Whoa, the track. Whoa, Faith was way wide. Oh yeah, she went wide. Those tires are definitely begging for mercy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hear you. They are on their knees pleading I'm to stop being a... driven on. Uh, now, hold on just a second. She's Max Maria back. just fall out of the top ten. Oh, what yeah. Happened? I think he went. I think he took a pit stop. I, I think, think pit stops are happening. Stop. If he pitted, that's... If he pitted, that's a massive advantage. Like, oh, yeah. What is a massive advantage? Like, 
the biggest massiveness of mass of that massive thing. Unless, yeah. unless, car, unless, Cater, that there's no more cautions. Oh. If uh -huh. there's a caution right now, that works perfectly in his favor. Absolutely there is. Uh, 18 Face laps. looking inside. Oh yeah, she's looking, but she can't make oh. the pass! Oh! Almost got it. Man, that's the closest almost so got it's like she's been. Other. Yeah, she's trying, they I think what she's doing is she's trying to work him, work him over, like, you know how it's like you 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 get you stay on his back bumper and you intimidate the guy. You, you know what it's like in NASCAR 2005 <laughs> Chase for the Cup where you have the intimidator the intimidator thing. Yeah, I think she's doing that. Demo Redneck driving here. He's mistake. still got a bit of damage on his car and he's got a lot of ground to make up to catch those top two. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, he's being caught by Ian Stiles, and Faith McKenzie's still trying to work on intimidating uh, Dustin Deeds into making a mistake here. The Dustin's had such a great drive, though, honestly, all day. Oh, this yeah. 23 car's been significantly faster. It's driven up 25 positions and got, gained so much ground on these leaders. But now since he's got, she's gotten up to the sixth oh, car. Oh, oh, hold the phone there. Hold the, the phone. Pass. We got a caution. As you can see, the caution flag waving. That's going to bring out the safety car. Full course caution. It's Man. not Michael Yellows. It's safety car. Here they come, uh, racing Some back. tells me that Something Max Morial is in a fine position. Yes, you you got to be thinking he's cheering himself on right now. That was definitely a correct what? choice by him. I'm getting word that one of who our... who else pitted with them, if anyone. I'm getting word that one of our championship contenders has uh, blew an engine. Ooh. Uh-oh. That's not good news. Oh! Oh yeah, well meanwhile, um, and I'm also getting word that Max Muriel was also involved in the caution. Ooh. So, oh, that's interesting. So yeah, we're going to get a replay very soon. Top 10 right now, Dustin Deeds, Faith McKenzie, Demo Redneck, Ian Styles, Ryan Smith, Baron Poole, Dylan Cleesby, James Omaki, Chris Black, and Dylan Jones, who's had a bad day, is in 10th. Great rebound for him. That's uh -huh. crazy. I didn't think that was possible. Yeah, I agree. He spun three times. He got hit a fourth time. I mean, All right, here's what times. happened. Yeah. Here's what happened. Oh, there's oh, Coco, yeah. by the way. Oh, and over with heavy damage. Oh, what happens here? Oh! Oh, 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 oh it is back to the front stuff pretty good. Yeah, I think I think what happened was he was trying to make a pass on um on uh on Gavin Grant and Colin Dover just held him up and then Gavin came down and sent Max Morel into the wall. Oh, there's Star Racer. We haven't talked about him in a while. No, we have not. He's had a pretty quiet day so far for his opening Here's run, but he hasn't wrecked yet, so that's always good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the good news for Star Racer is he's, he will be getting seat time. Oh, it's exactly what I thought happened, kind of. Oh, yeah, actually, it is exactly mm. what happened. Oh! Good thing he hit it with the rear of the car. He's going to still be in this, I think, just yeah. to be set back a lot. Yeah, he'll be able to keep going, but I think his day is over. Definitely eliminated most of the advantage he got from that pit stop. If any at all, on board with Toby Smith right now. And this fast it all forward. Yeah, he saw everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was being held up by Colin Dover, then Gavin gets loose into Max Morel, and bye bye! He just slams out of the way. Yeah, you can actually hear the crunch when he hit the wall as uh, Toby Smith was driving by. Wow. Oh. Speaking of crunch, what's your guys' favorite candy bars? We look at the aerial view now. Oh, yeah, it is, I mean, it is Halloween. We never mentioned that. Happy Halloween, everybody. Ooh. <laughs> All right, uh, my favorite candy bar, uh, Kit Kat, Crunch, uh, Twix. Chocolate Payday. Blech. All right, well, thing. caution number two is out. It is a thing. This is our second really caution really of the race. Ooh, oh, bitchy. Oh, bitchy. Don't give me heart attack Big G looking here. rad. Almost looking dead there. <laughs> G was looking red, but he nearly was dead. Caution number two is out on the day. As it does seem like Alan Gonson is completely broke, but we're heading here to commercial break, I believe. <laughs> yes, we are headed for we'll commercial break. We'll see you back here just a yeah, moment. something like that. All right, yeah, we're going to step aside. Don't come leave right that back TV set.
<laughs> yep, don't change that dial. We'll be back with more from the Arca Dr. Pepper series from Circuit of the Americas. Max Morel, you didn't learn from your mistakes. Oh. Uh, oh no, wait, we're not going to a commercial break. Because look at this, Bit Road's open. Who's coming? Well, here we go. Bit Stupid Road's open. TV crew and... thought they could fit a commercial in right before the pit cycle. What here they the come. Hey, anyway, oh, here we go. Ahead. Dylan Jones is there. There's Alan Mooch. Oh, wow, what happened to his nine car? He's gotten better all day. 37's guessing there. 45 does Leland well. Five all day. Or at least much of the day. There's Faith McKenzie. She goes in. And I think everybody's getting four tires and fuel. This, this, I'm getting more. This is the only stop think, these drivers have to I think Dylan Jones might be getting 16 tires after all that spinning. But, well, he did manage to get to 10th somehow. Shocking, I know. Yeah, man. He's got Something a really I fast car. Wonder, able to do anybody that. else could be alongside Max Morel? He just bypassed the pit. Alex Lee stays out. A couple cars bypassing the pits. Here comes Caleb. Oh, look out! Oh! oh. oh. Faith McKenzie's going to get out ahead of Devil Redneck. And oh, there's more Oh, somebody spun Maripool. back there. Is that Ian Styles? Yeah, Ian Styles got spun by Maripool. All right. Pit stops are over. Max Morel's going to be the race leader over. Dustin Deeds and Faith McKenzie. We're going to step aside for a break, and we'll be back with more on the Arca Dr. Pepper series from the Circuit of the Americas. Happy Halloween, trick or treat, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys after the break. Road cars 101. Hey guys, I, do, I'm, I own a store on a shelf, and we're going to be doing a commercial. We sell Bob Bob Bobbleheads, Dale Jr. Diecast, another Dale Jr. Diecast. Baby Yoda toy, Poke Ball, and a bunch of weird stuff. So come on down to go to my store on a shelf. I challenge you to a duel. A duel of the HS. Plato Mini Golf? Yes. Gentlemen, start your engines. They touch again, they exchange paint. These two want it so bad. But I bet you won't see this one coming. Oh! You know, I used to suck at holding footballs. I just couldn't get a good grip on them. Well now, thanks to my Franklin Grip Right football, I can hold footballs with ease. Look, I can hold it like this, I can hold it like this. Oh, I nearly dropped it. I can hold it like this, I can do this, and I can do, and I can do this, and hold it. Oh, no, oh, oh. I'm sure that's not gonna cause a million dollars in collateral damage, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. That's a lot of coupons! I don't know, that's the commercial! Welcome back here to the Arca Dr. Pepper series, live on the Alan Muccioli channel, or something like that. Yeah, cars are speeding back up here. Oh! And we have an engine failure, it looks like we had here with the 21 of Nate Wines. Runs over a cone because he's pissed, and it looks like he may be done for the day. All that battering on the front end and rear end may have just done him in. I'm getting word, and this is on Gonson, by the way, I'm getting word that he had a gearbox issue. So I think he, I think it was all from all the, the shifting and not to mention on top of all that, the beating and banging that he was been doing all day. Yeah, that's definitely not good yeah, for the point standings. Two bad races in a row. Remember, he did not start at Indianapolis last week. Yeah, he had so a. Him. Yeah, he actually it took. Yeah, he regained the points lead in Richmond after Alan Mooch had a bad day. Ball around Ian Styles here. Yeah, you see Nate winds up ahead. Just the gearbox goes completely. You know, 
he I, idolizes Trevor Bain a lot, but uh, not, I don't think he wants to idolize the part that that's like inconsistent with Trevor Bain. Uh, Mr. Inconsistency well, himself. Definitely had good awareness and good decision making. As soon as he heard that pop, he immediately drove out of the line. He did, did not get in anybody's way. Yeah, here's what uh, Devil Redneck's nice. From, and the, and the drone, this drone is great. Like, it's fast enough to, get, to go from behind himself to in front of Devil Redneck. It's great. I love it. Are you sure this is and the same drone? It's perfectly yeah. fixated. Yeah. yeah. It's like if somebody put a selfie stick in front of the car, is what it's like. Alright, so, anyway, I'm also getting word that Nate Wine's gearbox going, going kaboom on him happened prior to the caution. I do have a question. I might have Two an questions, actually. One, why is Demo Redneck scored as a leader? And two, what happened to Alex Lee? Alex Lee is, uh, looks like he's a lap down. He, no, he's actually in second. I have no idea, but oh, look, that's well, well, this is a top 10 worth talking about. Trey Schlosser Jr. is in 10th. You got Patrick Roden in 6th. You got PQ Guy in 8th. PQ Guy in 8th, really? Well, Green Flag's back in the air. Huh. Oh, oh, this seems like it's going to... Oh, this doesn't look like they're it's going to end well. They're scrambling, they're scrambling. Oh, right. they're 3 they wide. Will, that's not going to end well. I think one of them... They'll be fine. Wide. They'll oh, be fine. Oh, they're 3, they're three 4 wide. Oh, they're three, my four, goodness. They went 4 wide. Holy oh, everybody scrambling. Faith McKenzie's the back there. in the top ten. All right, so Faith McKenzie's in tenth. Justin Deeds ninth. Justin Deeds is up there. Oh, 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 they're beating. Oh, they're banging in the back. Oh, you oh, can wow, hear look it. At Justin fine. Newman, he's in fourth right now. Will stay green. No caution. Despite all the chaos happening in the back, I'm surprised. All right, so top ten right now. We got Max Moore really leading the way over Alex Lee. Riley oh, Davis, the 16th of Justin God. Newman, Patrick Roden in 8th, in 5th, I should say, Tristan Beasel, 6th, 7th is PQ Guy, PQ Guy, really, Trish Schlager Jr. in 8th, 9th, Dustin Dees, Faith McKenzie rounds up the top 10. <laughs> oh, here's Patrick Roden trying to close oh, up on the 16th. Oh, man, I thought that was going to be a stack up. Oh, yeah, that nearly was a stack up. Oh, here's Dustin Dees trying to work on getting by PQ Guy. Does he have enough time to catch he up doesn't. around to get back to Max, though? I don't think he does. It does and if he, he does, does, that damage on pit road from the 77. But he appears to be fine. Yeah, here's PQ guy. He gets out of the way of Dustin Dees. Dustin Dees goes to his right. Or is that his that's left? That's his left, Alan. Oh, that's his left? Okay, left. Sorry. Left, right. There. <laughs> it should be inside, outside, but road courses are, are confusing. The other side. All right, well, here's uh, Max Morreal <laughs> leading over Tristan Beasel, who's jumped up to second. Let yeah, Tristan Beasel have a pretty good run. His car's still clean. Tristan Beasel probably has the cleanest car in this field. And now that I said it, he's probably going to wreck. Why? Oh, because you commentators know curse. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, Dylan. Oh, oh, he's fine. Okay. Code Brown. Code Brown, Cater Johns had a Code Brown. A little bit. We're All right, well, they're headed for turn 20 right now. Jones about. Max Morreal's yeah. going to have 10 laps to go when he gets across the stripe. We'll start counting them down here for you all pretty soon. And, oh, yeah. You know what I really like about Circuit of the Americas? They actually have the uh, the grid placement. The Oh, someone's on pit road. I think that's Gavin Grant's 56 car. Wouldn't surprise me. But, yeah, what I like about... Oh, yeah, yeah that is Gavin Grant. And the... Oh. That I thought Gavin that was Grant. the pace car. No, that was Gavin Grant. Well, here's something interesting to take a look at. Dustin Deese is in six, and Faith McKenzie's nowhere to be found in this top ten. Yeah, it's like she fell off the map. That's tough. She I, had such a fast car. Yeah, she has. Yeah, she was having the a great... The fastest of the day. Yeah, there was... I there, think yeah. those fresh tires may have caused her more issue than good. Mm. Well... I, better on the long run, perhaps? Oh, yeah, I, I believe that. Anyway, here's... Oh, uh, someone... So here's um, Tristan Beasel trying to catch Max Morreal. Was it just me or did Gavin Grant car just smoke out really bad? Uh, no, I think it was just you, and if it was, he probably just locked up the brakes. All right, well, there's Justin. Oh, no, it looks like Gavin's got a problem. Yeah, it does look like Gavin's got a problem here. Well, he's gonna. Well, it's a long way back to pit road. That oh. and he's a lap down, so it's not like it's mattered much anyway. Yeah, speaking of Alan Mooch, is not having in. a good day right now. He's mired in the back half of the field. 
So he's only going to gain five points on um, on um, Nate Wines at best. Well, if they both finish at the back, don't they get the same amount of points whether or not they finish? Well, Alan Mooch is right now running 20th, I'm getting word. Which would give him... 10 points. 10 points, okay. So no, that wait, would... no, no, no. Five, no, no. Yeah, it would be 10 points, and there's a six-point gap between Mooch and Wines. That would give Alan Mooch a one-point difference going into the next race. A one-point deficit to make his way out of that. That's some point differential right there. That's like absolute craziness. But if we're getting ready to go to a commercial, it appears. Max Morial, your current leader, after somehow wrecking and then just being in the lead. What a chad. We'll be back. Don't leave your TV or computer or whatever you're streaming this on. Yeah. We are back from that side by side, and while we were under the side by side, I don't believe our cameras picked it up, but we did have another spin. And I'll let you guess who it was. It was Dylan Jones back there at the back of the pack. Uh, just a deep, <laughs> oh, tough night crazy. for him. Anyway, I'm Jameson on Monkey, joined here by Alan Donson and Car Cater John. Sorry, I almost said Johnny. And <laughs> yeah, right now Max is so beating, and we're counting down these laps. I wonder how much gap Tristan Beasel could make up on him. You know, it's been a very interesting race, to say the least. It's been a lot of watching gaps and a lot of unexpected occurrences happening. I mean, whoever would have thought Alex Mordial pits first, we think he's at this massive advantage. Then all of a sudden, he wrecks his car, and we think, well, he's done for the day. Now all of a sudden, the research has had him restarting in the front, and now he's leading, and it looks as though he has a great shot to win this with all that ass damage. Yes, he does with seven laps to go. Alan, what are you thinking heading into this final stretch of the race? Well, looking at it from, based on the trends that we have seen in ADPS, usually there is a caution that's just around the corner because cautions break cautions. And I feel like we're not done wrecking yet. Alan, I know you're the master of the stat keeper, so answer me this. How many of these races have ended under caution? 
We had the Atlanta race back in race number two and our most recent race at Indy Race Park. Oh, I felt like it was more than that. He's forgetting one. Am He's I? He's forgetting one. I do believe you're forgetting I one. I don't think I am. That doesn't sound right, though. That's all I know. That's, that, it's yeah, two that's, races that's, and like there's more than caution. I'm not making it that's, up. Okay, well, anyway, our top ten right now, as it stands, we got Max Moriel, Tristan Beazle, number 16, I can't remember. Justin Newman. Justin Newman, Patrick Roden, then you got the number 17. That'd be Riley Davis. Riley Davis, that's right. I'm sorry, Hookie folks, I haven't done much of my research. Justin Dees, <laughs> Tree Slosher Jr., you're at 34, I believe that's Peach Ryan you Smith. Guy. Peach you guy. No, that's not Ryan Smith. Peach it's you guys in the 34, Ryan Smith. He's the one after that is Ryan Smith, though. Five and Demo Rednecks in the 99. Yeah, this top 10 is really diverse, if I say so myself. You got pink cars, you got camel cars. Hell, you even got National Guard cars and Pretty irrelevant, the 16 if you ask me. car. And... Was that? Pretty irrelevant, if you ask me. What's irrelevant? Your mother. <laughs> oh, real creative Aww. there, Jameson. Real creative. I'm going to cry now. Yes, please do. Seven to go. Let me drink your tears. That, that's, do those taste salty by any chance? Yes, they do. Anyway, Max Muriel here is still trying to check out, but Tristan Beasel's keeping on his tail, along with Ian Stiles is a lap down. Or, I'm sorry, that's Evan Grant who's a lap down. And we are going commercial free the rest of the way, and it's brought to you by NASCAR The Shootout, powered by the Donator. Power to the players. That's GameStop. Bug. <laughs> Sensitivity training for you! Shut up. Let me tell you something here. The kids are going to be trick-or-treating on everyone's doorsteps tonight, but right now, Max Morial is trying to earn the candy in victory lane. Now, if you win this special Halloween race here in Austin, Texas, here at the Circuit of the Americas, I heard that you get a massive... And I mean massive Hershey's Kiss. I'm not sure uh, what. Oh! Oh, what happened there? Okay, Big time fine. stack up. I, I, I hate to break the news to Kater, but they don't actually do that anymore. Why would they stop that? Because those massive Hershey Kisses give people diabetes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, mm hmm. That's a lot of chocolate for one person to intake that much. Well, at least give Max. Have you tried it before? At least give Max Morel one of the Hooters girls or the Monster Energy girls. He'd be fine with that, right? Right. The Hooters girls have been oh, yeah. Really. I'm not so Go into a, a full idea. dance with the big. No, we probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Goth girl IHOP. Am I right? <laughs> Did you know Hooters changed their shorts policy for their employees? I did not know that. Yes, and now all yeah, of them are to wear stuff that's a. Yeah, they they essentially are naked or something like that. Oh, but anyway, goodness. they said they compared the outfits like wearing panties and a t-shirt. Ooh, so, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. And for the people eating in, it is. Well, anyway, uh, down to the final. Hater, shut up. We're down to the final six laps. You shut up, bitch. Shut oh. the fuck up. I swear to God. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> well, while they're, while they can, while they continue to bicker, uh, we're down to seven tenths of a second between Alan, and Diesel. What? You dropped it right in the fuck. <laughs> that damn it. <laughs> While you guys were bickering, I'm not sure what's going on right now. I'm not sure either. But while you, while we were all bickering, Tristan Beazel has got it down to seven tenths of a second. How many times can Mexico Alan <laughs> can Alan say the word bickering in one minute? I don't know. I'd rather not find out. How many swears do you think it'd take for me to get kicked off this channel? Oh gosh, <laughs> gosh, the flags are waving. A fucking lot. Uh huh. Oh. oh, oh, fuck! He's a stupid motherfucking caution. God fucking damn it. Uh huh. Uh-huh, and it's going to bring out a safety car, third caution. I'm getting word God that someone... Damn this. I, I think someone actually has a black cloud over their head. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Oh, we're not gonna well, find is, it. Is it Joe Mama? I. No, let me guess. Tell me it was Jones again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh well. But we do have a replay. <laughs> we we do have a replay. That's the good news. So we're gonna find out what happened. Oh. Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. We had a code brown, or a code red, or a code orange, whatever you want to call a, a dropped phone. <laughs> And meanwhile, they're working their way to turn 20. And Max Mariel comes off turn 20. Up the I... front stretch, coming to the hill climb. Going right by the painted numbers. He's at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and caution. So, while we're under caution, you guys, answer me this. Mm -hmm. And this goes for anybody watching us live as well. If they do feel like chiming in, what is your favorite paint scheme in the Ark of Dr. Pepper series? Ooh, there's so many good paint schemes. Ooh. It's hard for me to choose one. You know, I saw a 16 car earlier. I don't think I've seen that scheme, like, close up, like, just taking a look at it. It's got some very interesting colors, and I really like the dynamics of it. I think that's a pretty hot scheme. Oh, just God, Cater Johns likes the New England Patriots car. All right. Who, okay. Who, who I like the New England Patriots, though. Just a disclaimer: I don't like the Patriots. But that car, though, pretty. All right. Well, who, who, who's getting a crying towel for this week? Who's getting a crying towel this time? I've already given one out for the lap two wreck. Well, let's see here. Oh no! Um, I'm sorry. It was lap one. Let's get let's that right. Let's see what it's happened Ian Styles here. Doing, please be. Oh, the dreaded black cloud. <laughs> it's hurting oh, Dylan Gleesby's body, them out. but <laughs> he called it Cater. Yo, it was Ash Ellington. <laughs> he called it Cater, he called it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's what Ash Ellington saw. Ash was at least behind. Oh. Yeah, contact between the 86 oh. and 24. Jameson, anything to add? Hot damn! Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Just hot damn. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see if we can find out. Okay, here's what he installs so. A bit of a mishap from the camera crew. Bomb. It's amazing how those drones what can keep up even with them shifting around like I that. I don't know, what is he doing? I guess we won't be nice for that. Um, we already had this camera angle, but I guess we'll get to see it again. No, that was the that was the drone cam. It's Look from out. the same angle. <laughs> I mean, actually, it was the most one behind. So it's the same the car. car. <laughs> you can't the camera crew. She yes, the I do, one. actually. Oh, this is the camera. Oh, the aerial view always gives us a good. Oh yeah! See, what happened there is it was two cars going in a very tight squeeze. And when, when the squeeze gets too tight, things burst. See, what really happened is that one of the cars let go of their wheel head to get to the corner and decided to use the other as a brake and stuff, and that didn't really work out so well. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's caution three. Dylan Cleaver goes for a spin. Ian Styles goes for a spin. Ashley did. Dies away. Good job. And I do believe Let's send it over to Jameson O'Monkey to predict how many more cautions we'll get in this race. I'm gonna say they're done for the day, honestly. Alright, you want my prediction?
heart and souls are connecting From the lies you know as fantasies But it's the love we're correcting It's a wrong plan, will never be a Keep on dancing through the dark Feel the moon is blowing bright And it's wrapping me so tight I can feel the panic reverberation Going off in my body It's no longer work of been bleeding I don't feel afraid of anything And I radiate I feel my heart It's finally coming back to start It's twirling and whirling back this is the Ar arca dr pepper cup series of course if you haven't been watching but yeah uh this is max morial he is leading this race with significant damage but no one really cares also we apologize for the abrupt uh interruption of the commercial we're fucking idiots in the booth and don't know when a commercial is coming because our communication with the production crew is so fucking bad that we're fucking gonna fuck a fu uh, Anyway, Max Morial is currently leading this race, as I stated, and we're going back green as Tristan Beasel is there. Alan, you should second. just Woo. edit over this voice line that I'm having right now with a massive bleed. I have a bold prediction to make. We're getting one more caution. Yeah. We're getting one more caution. That's my bold prediction. Now, I'm going to say no. So it's green white. Yeah, right, I well, guess it's two to go. By the well, way, that doesn't mean that we're getting another caution. Just so you know. Or we won't. Hey, look who's top 10 is James Amaki. James Amaki? That's crazy. Amazing. And would you believe Dylan it? Jones Ninth place, nine. Dylan Jones recovered yet again. Oh, and would you believe it? Tree Schlosser Jr. after having a quiet day is still hanging around the top 10. Yeah, he's there. Quiet because he was he started dead last. Yeah, he did start dead last. He's been he's making moves. Oh! oh! I thought he was going to go in the grass. Get up! Well, trees do have a tendency to do that. Well, you have so a tendency 30 and the 81 begin to check out here as they come to the hairpin. Battle for the lead, battle for the win here. Lap 29 of 31. Down the back, or down this long straightaway here. It's going to be an uphill downhill climb. Yeah, so as we approach two laps to go here, and Morial continues to lead, I had a question for you, James. Oh, gosh, lights are flaming! Gosh, lights are waving! Oh! This is no! gonna be the race! This is gonna be the race! Well, who makes it back to the line in time then? Who's gonna come back to across the line first? Oh, you know Tristan's fighting hard now. He wants it. Yeah, he, Tristan he, Beasel's trying to go for his first win. Metal. He's had a he frustrating is, he season. He is hurling himself. He is. He is thrusting and busting. Can he get up there to pass Morial? Max Morial has had an incredible up and down day. We thought he was out of it. Then all of a sudden, he wasn't out of it. And now he's got just a few quarters to hold on and then get to the checkered flag. Here they come. You know his brother's watching on happily right now as he's coming into the line right now. Almost, almost locked in first at this point unless something major happens. I don't think 20. Tristan's going yeah, to catch I him. Don't I, I don't think something terribly major is going to happen as they round this final corner up the hill. Max Morial in the 30. McDonald's machine warms up those nuggies back up and looks as though he's going to win, but he has two more laps to make under caution for him to get the checkers here today. And we do have a replay of what happened, and we're going to be watching that instead of watching the cars Ooh. roll around under the caution, because that's way more big exciting. Movers under Boom, big movers coming back to the line. The 88 jumped up to 6th. Oh, yeah. Big Dylan boomer. Jones also moved up to 8th. He was ninth at one point. Demo Redneck jumps into the top 10 Jones last second. Saints. And how about Dustin Dees? He, had, he was he was murdered in the back after his um, pit stop. Then he came all the way back in the top 10. He finished his 7th. Anyway, Cater, to answer your question from earlier, why do you ask? <laughs> well, I ask because... Well, actually, that's not important. Just answer the goddamn question. I'm not answering it until you tell me why you fucking asked the goddamn question. <laughs> God. Well, fine. Uh, well, here's the replay first. Uh, oh, 26. Okay. Oh, they're four wide. That's smart. Oh, that's yeah. very smart through the hair oh, pin. Nope, I'm not the big And just no, they didn't. Him in the, ah. oh, this is going to be the big one at Coda if they don't step on the brakes. Oh, okay, Faith that's McKenzie fine. Got a piece oh, it's of it. more damage to some other cars. Caleb Marinelli style's got a piece of it. 
Oh, that's a shame. Dustin D uh, well, Ian Styles' top 10 run ends here. It ends at four. So, so J.D. Brinkley I'm, came flying in. And then I'm going to have to give them all straight jackets because they are all crazy if they thought they could make four wide work out of that hairpin. So, Alan, you're, well, once again, you like are the master of stats. After this, who's mathematically eliminated from Chase? Well, there's a there's a few drivers that that come to mind. Alex Lee's going to be mathematically in jeopardy of getting knocked out of this title talk because he's like someone 300 points back. Then you got sorry, and basically everybody from like 56th on up to 39th, maybe. But realistically, there's well, like, I'm more so man. But because you said at the beginning of the race, everybody was in 108 points. There were like 11. Much. There were 11 drivers. Well, how many of those do you think are below that now? Not. In fact, I think we gained one more. Ooh. So now we're up to like 12 cars, and this is why we have a season-long battle for the championship. Are you not entertained? No, I'm not. Well, you suck. You have no idea. You have no sense of fun in your soul. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you, asshole! You're the one who wanted the playoff system! Well, you're gay, so you're the most fun. Whoa! <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> Look, that has played rather quickly. So, yeah, well, yeah, it, it's from. Ooh! Actually, it's in closed file in the driver door late. So, um. So, any unforeseen issues? One so final far, look. Alan? One final look before we go back to live coverage. There's the four wide. There's yeah, the stack. This is what I call squeezing it into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm, I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but unfortunately, I don't think they would taste I good with Procore on them. I think they forgot or the Bank, lube. Or, you know, striker medical equipment. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? Did you, like, cough up like a. I, had, I coughed stone up a hairball. Did you cough up like a kidney stone or some no, shit? No, hairball. Anyway, oh, no. final corner. Here they come, rounding the final corner. Here's He's... something. The 88's gone from the top 10. What happened to him? I wonder what happened to him. All right, well, off the final corner. Yeah, Cater John, shocking. do you want to take us home? I do. The man, the myth, the legend in the McDonald's car. He's got some piping hot McNuggies now as Max Moriel crosses the line here. He wins at Circuit of the Americas with Tristan Beasel coming short and Dylan Jones, after six different incidents, finishes seventh in a 31 lap race. All right, top 10 goes like this Max Moreal, Tristan Beasel, Justin Newman, Patrick Roden, Riley Davis, Dustin Deeds, Dylan Jones, Tree Schlosser Jr., Demo Redneck, and PQ Guy rounds out the top 10. You know what you round up? What? Your mama? We round out Jameson's heart. Wait a minute. No, you know, no. <laughs> I don't swing that way, bro. Well, oh, it says you. Oh, son of a, son of a bitch. But you, the but you admitted to being nothing. gay, so. Yeah, you, you did admit to it earlier. I am not. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, look, PQ guy, having a great run. Good run for that 30-14. They needed a run like that. Hope he blows up. Well, it's too late now. That wouldn't that wouldn't change stats at all. He'd still be tenth. <laughs> all right. Well. You want my honest opinion? Go ahead. Fuck That's Cody. What? You just said you just said screw Coda, <laughs> and I'm being nice about it. Okay, so here's Max Morial working his way around turn twenty. Wait a minute. What? What, the what was, that? was that? He's coming up the front stretch. <laughs> Wait a minute, Alan. How did he fix this car? It's magic. I, I don't think he fixed it. <laughs> oh no! Wait, he definitely did. You're right. Okay. Well, here he comes to take. Yeah, the that's definitely magic. Here he comes to get the checkered flag for his first win in the backup cars to do a burnout. I think he used his Mick Magic wand skill. I think he pulled out the backup card to do some burnout. Well, here he comes. Uh, I think you're wrong. Hey, um, 
Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, he just realized it. He realized the mistake he's made. Look at where the flag stand you is. You made a mistake. Yeah, he did make a mistake. Ooh, look out, there's a wall there. Don't <laughs> turn, don't hit the, don't destroy the car yet. There oh, you go. he's fine. He's fine. fine. He's fine. He's got the checker flag. Is it just weird that the pace car changed colors? Yeah, I was going to say, the pace car's different. That's not a Corvette anymore. No, they... Maybe everyone's got their backup cars after a terrible tornado struck the <laughs> town and okay, well, they had to Max go and cover for three oh, seconds. There was his boss man. And he's still trying to get it going. He's going all the way down to the other end of the front stretch. And he brings the car to a dead stop. Good job. Oh. He's trying. He's trying. Oh, he's How long does it take, there. take for him to do a Swedish flop? Uh, well over. Forever. Yeah, it would it would take forever. Here what he comes. He oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's back party. at the stripe now. Is, is he going to burn it down or what? I don't think I he knows how. To... Oh, 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 oh! Here oh, he goes. There, there he goes. goes. There he goes. After hitting the wall. All right, so I'm guessing the next race for the Arca Doctor Rubber Series is the NASCAR Mino Motor Drone, where we'll be racing on the concrete this time. Hooray! Hopefully, we don't have somebody Ooh. hit. The... Yeah, that NASCAR motor drone, we love to see it. And like J J J J J Jameson said, that pit insinuator thing, that blunt end of the wall. That they have a <laughs> pit crew sure member sitting at for some reason, which well, is very dangerous. After a rocky start to his burnout, Max morel has got the smoke going. Look at him, look at him roll it. Hey, yeah, look at that. He recreated the damage on his car from the race. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max Morial. Yeah, there's one thing about Max Morial. What's that? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, um, Max Morial. I talked to him about, uh, I don't know, maybe four months ago, and I vividly remember a part of our small conversation. He was like, "I would love, my dream, in my life, is to drive a number thirty McDonald's car." in the Arca Dr. Pepper Cup Series and win oh, the race. Bullshit. And yeah. let me tell you something. What? <laughs> <laughs> he, just said, he just said that you're full of hogwash. <laughs> wow. He was giving a feel-good story here and I was going to cry. And now you ruined it, Omaki. You get a cry towel for ruining the feel I'm not Omaki. <laughs> He blew his tires. Not a score. Yeah, he blew his tires. He blew his tires out. And he's still going! No. Look at him go! I think he's just trying to take it back to the pits at this point. I mean, there's just so much power in those cars. Why, I mean. would, he, why would you take it back to the pits? He's now, I want to see him blow the engine out. It is ADPS tradition that drivers blow How their engines. Speaking of what? that, he just did. Thank you guys for watching. Here are the race results and point standings for the American Racing Grand Prix. Once again, congrats to Max Morial for scoring win number one on his Arca Dr. Pepper racing career. Upset City! Oh! Wait, was it? Do we really call it Fuck upset? it up, you little I need bitch. new pants. Wait, do we even call that an upset? He started third. Yeah, we can't really call that an upset. Well, he Suck it up, you little bitch. You're upsetting. Wow. Anyway, race results, point standings. Next race, NASCAR Arminio Motor Drome on the country. Let's go! Motor Dome! Motor Drome, baby! Motor, Motor Dome! Dome.